Come, Millie. Woo! Come on, Sunny, ma'am. Well, in October of 2008, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. The first thing we did is we put it all in the hands of God. Um, my last treatment was February 22, 2010. And uh, so far, I'm still kicking right along really well. My name is Becky Vardaman, and this is my story. This is Doc's little Joe, and he kept my life grounded while I was going through my cancer treatments. I'd come home, and Ev would have him saddled, and we would ride. Sometimes I would just ride maybe 15 or 20 minutes in our arena in the barn, and there's where my husband stood shoulder to shoulder with me. When I could no longer saddle my own horse, he would saddle my horse, and all I'd have to do is crawl on my horse and ride it, literally, and come back to the house and crawl back on the couch. But it kept me mentally uplifted because that was still a normal part of my life. And you have to hang on to the normal things because the abnormal starts overwhelming you. Some people say, oh, you should go here, you should go there. It's, it, well, we have every, we have a peaceful, refuge right here in our own farm and I like to work in my flower beds in the summertime and uh, just play with the dogs or just be out in the, out the barn with the horses and I'm a farm kid at heart. Oh big fella. Hi big boy. So after it was determined what type of cancer I had then we had to face the steps of um, cure we wanted to stay with the cancer center here because we've heard so many good things about it and our experience with them was total compassion total caring uh, very very experienced people and uh, the entire staff just really they made you feel so comfortable my support system first was my faith in god <clears throat> and trusting him uh, my support system with Skin On was first my husband and uh, my sister Margaret. I started, <coughs> excuse me, I started sending out emails to many of my friends, just a few at first, who just to encourage them to pray for us. People in my email system started spreading the word and uh, I have people yet today that tell me that they have kept all of my emails I always wanted my emails to be uplifting. I'm not going to live my life and, and burden anybody in the fear that this cancer can return because the kind of cancer I have can return, but I'm not going to live in that fear. I'm going to face it with the same positive attitude that I had in going through all the treatments.